where you can see earth is rotating from west to east and facing millions of stars because of earth's movement you will feel stars are moving and if you place your camera in a tripod or keep it steady and focus uh, camera lens towards star and keep your shutter for longer duration or take multiple multiple exposure shots the final result will it will look like a, it is forming a number of lines basically trails so these are called star trails and just just like a light trail where you take a, you focus your focus towards the light and cars is moving then it will form a one light trail so see it it is a similar phenomena where you can see stars are forming a lots of line and it gives really beautiful visual representation. This is called star trail. Now coming back to the bulb mode versus interval timerometer. Bulb mode is nothing but a one shot mode and interval intervalometer is like a you will take multiple picture multiple photographs and uh, as a post processing you will merge all the photographs either using a game player, photoshop player or any other third party software we will talk about it later now let's talk about the pros and cons uh, of these two methods in case of one shot bulb mode what you will do you will set to the you will set, you will set your exposure to uh, as per your desire maybe minutes to some hour the shutter will be open uh, for the entire duration and because of the earth rotation, you see there is a tra trails is being created. So pros is that like you will be saving a lot of effort in post processing and some of the competition if you are trying to apply. Uh, so these photos are eligible. Whereas wherever like uh, some of the competition they don't allow stack method stack photos, but most of the competitions they allow stack photos. Now let's talk about the disadvantages. If you keep your shutter open for the longer day, longer hours, like uh, one hour or maybe something like that, because if you want to have very nice uh, star like without any breakage, then it has to go as a one hour, maybe two hours of uh, uh, star tail photography. So that because of this longer duration of shutter, uh, it, 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 if it opens. Uh, it creates it generates heat and it can create a wobble effect in your photo. Another thing is that suddenly some cars or some any object passes through your photo, uh, then it that that will also create a kind of some kind of trails which will not be desired. Coming back to the stack photo, interval timerometer, which is I which I use my preferred method. Advantage is that you will have complete control. Okay, uh, you will have. Uh, individual copy if any any issue happen in any of the frame you can remove those frame from the photo and you can post process it you will yeah, in, in this way you will have more control you can set your exposure uh, timing as per your desire so my preferred method is like uh, I'll just uh, keep 300 to 400 or sometimes 1000 pictures and uh, keep I, I depending on situation I use I use aperture aperture priority or manual mode. So if it is a night time, I generally use manual mode. Uh, keeping exposure uh, like shutter open for 15 seconds. Better I'll tell you my cheat code. Generally I use this setting in dark area, and depending on light position, either I change aperture, shutter speed, and ISO as well. Please check yours. Take a few test shots, and you will feel you got a perfect exposure then log the settings you can check out uh, milky way exposure calculation developed by lonely speak and this really works in dark places so let's discuss quick setting uh, in nikon how to get the uh, multiple solve basically intervalometer for that we'll go to menu I'll just go. I was there only. You can go to the photo mode here. Then interval timer shooting. Let, we'll talk about interval later. Interval sort. You can keep. You can keep count like 215 sorts into one. So it will take 215 sort. 
and coming back to the interval okay so just few minute back i was talking about uh, like uh, like how, for how much time it allow on the shutter so in interval timer shooting in case of interval timer shooting i generally keep 15 to 30 second depending on the requirement if i make a, if i really want to make a star trail so generally i go 30 second but that will be also problem uh, i'll come back to the well i'll come i'll discuss about the problem in within a few seconds so 15 to 22 second is the ideal now the point is that if your shutter is being open for like 15 second or 20 second make sure that this interval is some like uh, plus two to three second uh, let, let's say if you're keeping the uh, like if, you, if you're keeping a shutter like 15 second so make sure you're keeping interval like 18 second what exactly will happen if uh, if it you if you keep your shutter shutter for 15 second and if you're keeping interval like eight or nine seconds so internal algorithm it get confused and instead of getting like a 300 photo some you will make get 80 or 90 photo it happened with me many, many time recently when i went to page like two years back i was keeping shutter i was opening shutter for 30 seconds but uh, interval timer shooting i had given eight eight second i was expecting 300 photo but eventually when everything is over i avenge I was very upset and surprised to see only 75 to 80 photos were there. So plan up front all these settings and calculation before shoot. Now coming back to interval timer settings for Canon. Direction of camera will decide shape of star trail. If you face camera towards north or south, then your camera will pan with stars from west to east along with the earth. Hence, it will create a circular trails. Whereas, if you face camera towards east or west, then it will create a kind of straight line. So, depending on your liking, place your camera. Recently I went to Bunar and got an opportunity to photograph star trail. All the moon was full lit, hence I brought down ISO, increased shutter speed and managed to get good exposure. Now coming back to advantage of taking multiple photos via intervalometer. Some of the photos were like a, it got some shake effect. So I removed those unused frames from this file list. I enhanced file while doing white balance, contrast and saturation and, and got file from this to this. This looks slightly better hence I applied same setting to all the files. This can be redone via any photo editing tool. Now I got good 215 files to process and create a star trail out of it. To do so, one can manually merge all files via layer using Adobe Photoshop or Game. Alternatively, easiest option is third party app. And my favorite is Star Star X. Perfect blending app and works well with Windows and Mac platform. I'll give a link in description section. Let me download. Since I have this application already installed and available, let me straight away launch it. Star Star user interface will look like this. Very easy and clean interface. Just drop your images here and start processing. So I'll also drop my all 215 images which I captured in Munar. Now you can see all my images are available here. Now let's start the processing. To do that, go to edit and click on start processing. Once processing is start, after that 
just sit back and relax or have a cup of coffee because the rest of the work star stacks will do for you This time our processing is completed, we can see dialog box from star stacks. Just save the image and review the image. I feel this is perfectly captured star trail. Let me know what you think. There is one problem though. You can see because of multiple image processing, foreground tree, tree as well got a seek effect. And this is, this is the advantage of interval sort. Here it comes. I can take any of image out of 215 images and can replace those foreground tree from start till. And here is the final output. Let's review the image. Here you can see this looks much better. We have perfect star trail and at the same time foregrounds are also very sharp. Now another cool part, since we have multiple images and each image like a frame, I can drag all these images to any video editing software like DaVinci Resolve, VNC etc. and can create, and can create a cool star timeless like this. Remember, such videos are in very high demand, so take advantage of it. For your information, if you would have captured star trail using bulb mode, then this wouldn't have been possible. That's all guys. Long video, but I am sure some or other information would be helpful for you. Please do try this method and let me know your experience in comment section. Feel free to share this video with your friends as well information will be helpful for them as well and please do subscribe subscription is absolutely free and you will be updated with my tips and tricks and travel journey as well thank you everyone have a great year and stay tuned there will be more video like this very soon please subscribe and stay updated bye